morning. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Pat Cutchins. We're in our second phase of our Real Women of Philadelphia contest and we're going to be doing side dishes today using Philadelphia's cooking cream. And today what I'm going to make for you is something very simple but yet a delectable side dish that you can use with pork chops, chicken, steak, any old thing you'd like. Um, we're going to be using the Santa Fe blend cream cheese cream today uh, and this is going to go into our stuffing and all you're going to need is I've taken four tomatoes I've cut them in half and I'm going to scoop out the centers and I've done a few of them for you so I'm going to finish the other two you're going to need a half a cup of corn we're going to need a quarter cup of onions chopped fresh onions and we're going to need a cornbread stuffing mix now, I have bought this cornbread stuffing mix. It's relatively inexpensive. It's delicious. It takes five minutes to prepare. So I'm going to prepare it according to the box directions, which is a cup and a half of water, half a stick of butter. And all you do is bring it to a boil, pour the package of uh, stuffing mix in it, cover it, and let it sit for five minutes, fluff it with a fork, and it's ready to go. Okay, so I've already put this in my pot, and I've got it ready to go. And when we're done, we're going to salt and pepper them, and we're going to take a fresh avocado, we're going to slice it, and we're going to make little slices and put one on each of our tomatoes before we serve them. And we're going to squeeze a fresh lime over that avocado, and that's going to give it an extra punch. And of course, our Santa Fe cooking cream makes these delectable. Okay, so let me get my stuffing going and then let me be back in a minute and we'll start our stuffing. Okay, we're ready. My stuffing is cooked. I've taken about a cup and a half of it and put it in a, in a uh, measuring cup so that we're ready to go. And I'm going to show you now how I peeled out and pushed out the vegan insides of the tomatoes. I've taken a, a small tomato, cut it in half as you can see, and with my ice cream scooper, I've gone in and I have just taken the pulp out. It should come out relatively easy. I'm keeping those aside because we're going to use some of that in our stuffing. And I'm just going to do this last one for you. Okay. Now, while the tomatoes are sitting here and there's nothing in them, I'm going to take a little bit of salt. And we're going to sprinkle them with salt because tomatoes do heat up salt and you need to flavor them or they will be a little bit too bland. So I'm just going to sprinkle them a little bit with salt. Okay. Alright, we're ready to stuff. Now, I'm going to take another bowl. I'm going to put our stuffing in this bowl. And it's the stuffing is hot and warm from the, from the pot. We're going to take and dump our corn into the bowl, our onions into the bowl, and we're going to give that a little bit of a smush with a fork. Okay, and at this point, I've taken a couple of the tomato centers and I've just chopped them up a little bit so I can give this some juice, and I'm going to add in the chopped up tomato. And last but not least, our Santa Fe cooking cream. Now, you can use the whole container if you like, but I'm going to leave about two ounces of it in the container. I'm only going to use about eight ounces of it. And that's only because of my taste. I don't really want a strong, strong, uh, spicy taste, but it's all a matter of your own taste. So, I'm um, going to take my cooking cream and I'm going to add that to my bowl get all of it out of there I think of all of them this is my favorite because boy it is so so tasty okay but then again I have all of them are my favorites what am I talking about all right and so we are going to mix this all together my dinner Okay, we're ready. You can see that didn't take very long. <clears throat> and now we're ready to stuff our tomatoes. 
So again, I'm going to use my ice cream scoop and I'm going to take a nice scoop of it and put it right into my tomato. You want to pile this high so that you get all that delicious flavor. And you can see they set up very nicely. Now when we're done with this, we're going to put them in a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Well look at that, I used all this filling on six little tomatoes. So there you go, we didn't have too much at all. Okay, so we're going to put this in an oven, uh, 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. When they come out they're going to be hot and bubbly. We're going to place our lime, I mean our uh, avocado slice on top, squeeze a bit of lime over it and they'll be ready to go. <clears throat> and they're going to be delicious. So let's put it in the oven and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. We've had our tomatoes in the oven at 400 degrees, and here they are, finished, hot, bubbling, moist, delicious. And we're going to transfer them to our serving plate. And But before we do that, we're going to take an avocado, and I'm going to cut the avocado, and I'm going to take out the center pit. Very easily done. And I'm also going to cut our lime in half, fresh lime, so that we can put our lime juice on there. And here goes. I'm going to take my avocado and I'm going to peel it out of the shell. It's a very easy way to get your avocados going. And I'm going to take and make some slices. Okay, plating these up. That's a little tricky. <laughs> it's a lot tricky, but that's all right. <laughs> They're still going to be okay. They're going to taste yummy. Whether they're on the tomato or off the tomato, they're going to be yummy. Okay. All right. I just want to go ahead and put a slice of avocado on them. And we're going to take our lime and we're going to just squeeze the lime over it. And we're going to add a little bit of salt over that avocado and lime. And there you have it. Now, these are ready to go to the table. And they can be served up with a spoon, or your guests can take each one or your family and put it on your plate. And again, these will go very well with fried pork chops, broiled pork chops, fried chicken, any old kind of meat you want. But it has that Santa Fe flavor, that spiciness that you're really going to enjoy. So I'm going to take one out if I can, and put it on a separate plate, and I'm going to see if I can taste it. Take my and we're going to taste these puppies. You can see the tomato is nice and soft. That's how we want it so that it goes down very easily. And when you take that lime and that Santa Fe blend, you're going to think it's absolutely delicious. Let's taste. Mm -hmm. The corn the breading, the, the uh, Santa Fe cheese, and the avocado. All the flavors burst in your mouth. You can taste every one of them, and it's good. I hope you try this recipe, and thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.